Hey everyone, today is June 13, 2020, and welcome to the Humble Gent YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing and giving you my first impressions of a watch that I've been keeping an eye on for a while, and I finally pulled the trigger on it. So within the last six months, I've sold a lot of watches and I bought a lot of new watches back, and I was in need of a new dive watch. And in today's video, I will be unboxing and giving my first impressions of an island watch by longislandwatch.com. I am really excited for this unboxing today. I've been looking at this watch for a long time now. They've been out for about a year and I got the 38 millimeter version of it. Before we get started, let's do a quick wrist check. Right now I'm wearing my Tissot Gentleman. And look at that blue dial on there, looks so beautiful. And I actually put an aftermarket black alligator strap on here, which looks awesome in my opinion. I'll be coming out with a full watch review of this very, very soon. All right guys, I'm actually really excited for this unboxing right now. Um, it actually came really fast. I ordered this about maybe five days ago, and this is coming from Long Island, New York. I actually bought this at longislandwatches.com, and this is a watch that I honestly been looking at for a long time. I remember when these first came out, and there was only a couple that I actually really wanted to get, and I was in need of a new diver. And I'm excited to get this open. So, let's do this. Here's some packaging here. Here's the box from longislandwatch.com. And as you can tell from this, this is an island watch. So this is a custom made watch made by Mark at Long Island Watch. And let's get this open. All right, so before I open the watch, we'll see what else is in this box here. All right, this is really nice actually. We get a good quality screwdriver because this watch has screwed links in it, which is really nice. And see what else is in here. I believe it's just the receipt. Just so you guys know, I got this for uh, $299. I paid the $10 for two day shipping and I couldn't be any happier with the packaging so far. And let's get to the good part and open this up. So let's get this open here. Wow. Take this out here. Show you guys what this looks like. Wow, this really is beautiful. Just feeling this right now on the pillow. You have a milled clasp here, which is awesome. And the sizing for this is actually really good. So I still need to take all the stickers off this watch. But if you guys aren't familiar with Long Island Watch, um, Mark at Mark Island Watch makes a lot of beautiful watches, a lot of custom watches. And his main demographic was um, the Seiko SKX, the 007 and 009. And when those went discontinued not too long ago, he ended up making his own rendition of those watches. And these are the same proportions of the 38 millimeter Seiko SKX, but this is his modifications to it, making it his own. And I'll go over everything with this watch, my initial impressions, and in about two weeks from now, I'll do a full in-depth review of this watch. So this video is gonna be an unboxing and my first impressions of this Islander. So I'll peel all the stickers off in just a moment here. So this is the Islander, it's 38 millimeters. So it's one of the newer ones he had. And the, and the reference number for this is the SL, 20 the SL-20 and I got the black version this has the GMT dial on here and it feels awesome so far the quality looks great I love seeing all these little things like the milled clasp and I've had an SKX in the past 
I've had the 009 and the 007. And having this, it looks like the SKX, but feeling this, it feels more sturdier overall. From the class, the bracelet, it's definitely a more solid, hefty watch. And it definitely looks a lot more aggressive than the SKXs. So right now, I'll take the plastic off this and I'll go in more detail about this Islander. guys I took all the plastic off this watch shout out to Mark at Long Island watch because I got this really quick I purchased this on Friday and it's already Tuesday and the two-day shipping was on point and the shipping's really nice I like the box he ships it in here the warranty card is in here as well and for $299 you can't get a watch with this many specs on here. Um, there's nothing that compares to it. Everything on here. It has the um, solid links in the bracelet here. Uh, it has the sapphire crystal. It also has AR coating, which is awesome. If you can see right there, you can see the blue. I'm not sure if you can see it in the camera, but in the light, this watch is super legible here. And that AR coating is really nice. There's a lot of it. The loom is supposed to be crazy on this, which I'll show you guys in a little bit here. There's a dual time ceramic bezel insert right around here. And I could have got a dive style bezel, but I wanted something different and it looks great. And you see right at the 12 o'clock there, he marks Long Island logo right there. And what's cool about this also in the back of the watch, is a screw down case back obviously, and it has, the Islander logo right here and it has Long Island right there which is really awesome and on the back it says 200 meter sapphire and island watch this has a screw down crown which is awesome it also has the Islander logo on it which is great and like I said the screw down case back for more water resistance and this has 200 meters of water resistance which is awesome the ceramic bezel also has loom on it, which is gonna be great. So there's loom all over this, and I can't wait to show you guys what the loom looks like on this watch. And this is the newer version of the Islander. Um, he made his first batch of Islanders. They came with Jubilee bracelets, not the um, like an oyster style bracelet. And this really is a huge upgrade. And I've got the dive style bezel, and I could buy it aftermarket if I really do want it, but I'm happy with this dual time bezel right here, and it really looks awesome. And really quick, we'll see how the action sounds on this bezel. Um, it's not too clicky to be honest, but it is satisfying and there's a little bit of play in it, but not too much. It's definitely easy to grab because you have the two layers of this coin edge bezel here. And what's great about this watch is everything lines up. Whenever you get any Seiko diver, you would never get everything to line up perfect. And just looking at this watch here close up, everything lines up absolutely perfect. And I couldn't ask for any more. For $2.99, you get a very awesome watch. For Mark being a watch lover, watch collector for all of his life, not just his work, it's his passion. He was able to make these from scratch, and this is in a lot of other colors. He also made aviation watches with other Islander watches, and you can tell he put his heart and soul into these because these are honestly phenomenal, and I'm really not sure how he's selling these for only $2.99. And something cool this has on it as well is the screw links, which is honestly great. And I'm happy I waited for the second batch of these. Uh, the first ones that came out, uh, I believe they didn't have this oyster style bracelet uh, with the screw links. They didn't have screw links for sure. And I love that this has a dual time bezel here. I love that there's loom all over this, which is great. And the looms are really strong, I heard, which I can't wait to see how that looks. And just every detail on this watch, it is this case of an SKX, which is great because it's a classic watch. A distance, it looks like SKX but when you get closer you can see the differences on there and Mark really put his own twist 
on the SKX. And looking at this, this is a highly modified Seiko SKX, and I love the 38 millimeter watch. I could have went with a 42. The wrist size is a seven and a quarter inch wrist, but as you can see, obviously I didn't take any links out yet, but just looking at it on my wrist, I love how this looks. The, the lug to lug is perfect. For my size wrist, the 38 millimeter dive watch is perfect. And what I'll do is I'll size this to my wrist. I'll show you guys how it looks on my seven and a quarter inch wrist from close distance and far back. And we'll go into more detail on this watch now. All right guys, so I'm gonna put the Islander on my wrist right now. I took two links off on both sides and those micro adjustments are perfect. The watch is snug and it honestly looks and feels great. So let's take a close look at it here on my wrist and again seven and a quarter inch wrist. Wow, look at that bezel there. Got that ceramic bezel and if you can see the blue AR coating, you can see it right there. Wow, this is a really sharp watch and as you can see on my wrist, the size for a dive watch, I know it has the GMT bezel on there, it really fits perfect. 38 millimeters for me for this kind of watch is perfect. If I could go up to 40, 41 and a half, it would be my max, but this is beautiful. Take a look back here. Guys, I'm gonna end the video right here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video of this unboxing and my first impressions of the Long Island Islander. Um, this watch is honestly awesome. The, the amount of value you get for $299 is honestly phenomenal. And it looks great, and so far it feels awesome. In about two weeks from now, I'll be doing a full in-depth review of this watch. I want to wear this for the next two weeks and see how it feels and see what the accuracy is on this watch. Hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Please leave a comment down below what you guys think of this 38 millimeter Islander. And remember, I respond back to every single comment I get. And remember to stay humble.